Hello everyone, my name is John Melisundra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. You can see here some pine trees, grasses and other things that make the beautiful uh, landscape. And please don't forget to subscribe, you have subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorial. Okay, you can see here the five limited colors, colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we're going to need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to do a little sketching first. I have here a small brush. A small brush is very important for the sketching. I have here the number two nylon front brush, a uh, long handle. I have here the raw umber, so I'll just use raw umber everyone. And I will put the horizon here. I'll just try to uh, paint not so complicated landscape. Yeah, this will be my horizon. I'll put some pine trees here. Yeah, but, but maybe later I'm going to make it uh, clear. But, but also I, I will put here something like that. It'll be longer. Uh, this place will be really, really dark with those pine trees. And also some pine trees here. And some far pine tree. There. And then in the back here will be, I think I will put a mountain here. Yeah, maybe that will be good. And some pine trees on the top of this mountain. And yeah, maybe some, some flowers here or pathway. Yeah, maybe a little pathway here. This is a human pathway, everyone. Yeah, there. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put that or no. Not. I'll try. And this will be a light here. The light is coming from this part. It will have a very nice light here. Yeah, I'll put a very good light. That will be really good to do something like this, everyone. And yeah, maybe a one three here. Maybe I'm not sure. It will be good. Maybe just a simple tree here, like that beautiful tree. Okay, so I'm going to start now the underpainting. So I'm very a little excited. Okay, so I'll try to make it an afternoon sky because you can see the lights here, very good lights. I'll try to make some uh, little. Purple sky, uh, red purple, or yeah. Yeah, if it feels hard, everyone you can use this water spray. Just a little water. Do not uh, put too much water there. I think this is too much sky there. I'll just put more light blue color. I think that's too much red. Have the blue and the white. to put so much white here because I want this part to be really really bright and those uh, purple colors it was also uh, put uh, or add more uh, tones that it will look like an afternoon yeah maybe I'll just put more whites there Just have to blend it here very well. Yeah. Yeah, just add white, everyone. 
just make this part really really bright because this part will be uh, I'm gonna put the Sun here on this part here so it will be not uh, visible because it will be on the other side here okay so I'll try to make it a little orange I will add a little yellow and then red there and then white and yellow to be a lighter a little orange if you want to make it look like an afternoon there just a little shades of orange there and I will add more white here I just want to add more white to make it very bright here I just want to make this very bright or in a lighter orange color that's it okay so here uh, I think you know the steps you can see it so here is a little uh, purple everyone and then add uh, a little bluish and then here on this side uh, add a lighter bluish tone and add more white here it will just mix the colors on the blue it will just become a little lighter blue and after that add uh, a little orange lighter orange here it's a lighter orange with white so here add here just blend it well just to make it look like uh, this is really an afternoon Okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, a little lighter purple colors here. I'm gonna put a blue and then white. Yeah, I want to create uh, an afternoon mountains. So it will be a little purple. So I'm gonna add white. There. You can make it a little lighter if you want because it should be looking like a misty color. But also, here I'm gonna put the mountain, maybe just here. To so make it as bright as possible, I'm gonna put a little white here. Yeah. yeah, I'll try to blend it with a little white. There. And then I'll try to put everything with the uh, greens. So here I have brown, yellow. Yeah. I'll try to put some greens, blue and a rumber. Maybe some more yellow on the distance, like this. Try to make it dark. Can also put some rumber. There. So I'm burning the blue one. Can also put a little red there. Yeah. 
This one brown blue one, it, it, it will make the colors dark, look like black. But red also will make it more like dark or black. So you can put more red. There, so you have no dark colors on that part. I will put some more yellow. Yeah. Yellow with a little red. And then white. Harder to put it here. to make it a little lighter greens here and then I will try to put some a mountain here yeah just a distant mountain everyone There you go. I'm going to use a sm smaller brush. I have here some. Uh, I have here the number eight nylon flat brush. It's a smaller brush, and I have some yellow, and then I will refill some white. There. Here I'm gonna put a little lighter. Lighter fields, so we also here. I think this brush is old. But it can be used. There. Okay. That looks good. And it's dry already. Here. So I'll be using this brush again. But I think I need to choose another brush. I want a little newer brush. I think this one is new brush because the other one is uh, on, the, on the tip is a little broken so I, I'll try to use the newer brush now it's the same size and here I'll try to put some pine trees I'll be using the blue and the red a little white so that it become a little lighter just a little white everyone yeah that's pretty good have to do like this first I'll try to make it as solid as possible so it'll be on the top of the mountain ruin there and let's try to put those pine trees so I like this brush even because it's a little it's uh, pointed you can create those pine trees there with uh, easily okay you can use the topping technique
there. Big and small pine trees. Yeah. Make sure that you wet your brush on the, on the top so that they can create a bit of uh, details. Okay, they are longer and shorter pine trees. There. So we have now a forest here, and on the back of the forest there, is there are some mountains there. But I uh, will cover these mountains, everyone. I don't want to see the mountains there. <laughs> okay, that's good. And on the bottom part, I will try to put a little trees also. Not just trees, everyone, but also some pine trees. can make it a little darker Can also put some uh, other bushes or anything there, or maybe a house, small houses. Uh, it's up to you now. There, just uh, some details or some small pine trees like that. Okay, so here also, everyone, I'm going to put a big pine trees but I want to use a darker colors blue and the blue umber I think that will be good it will be here yeah it will be longer And the, and the sun will be in this part. So this will be the shadows. there okay so I think I will try to put the use uh, yeah maybe this brush first I think this brush is enough but you can use the fan brush if you want to create the spine trees so you can create uh, do like this side by side to create those leaves details there. I'll try to put some raw umber and blue again.
there okay to put some red and then blue yeah Just a little run. See, so you can now see those uh, beautiful pine trees. It's now clear. So again, okay, everyone, just stop in technique. There, so you cannot see uh, these uh, pine trees here, and here I'm, I'm gonna make it a little more thick. There, okay, so you cannot see uh, this group of pine trees in the front. Yeah, that looks good. Again, I'm gonna mix for a little darker colors. Umber, blue, and the red. And here. Just I use the topping technique. There, another small one here. You can either make it thick everyone or not so thick, it's, 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 uh, it's okay. And this one will be really, really tall pine tree. There, some also have not so much leaves, I said, no, that's fine. There. Okay. And also again, uh, this is uh, the tallest one. It's okay everyone if you don't put, put too much uh, leaves there. You can use the fan brush if you have a fan brush. And if you have a smaller fan brush, make sure that it's smaller one. Tapping technique, yeah. There you go. Okay. So I think that looks good. Not so much, but I think it looks good. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just make it thick, a thicker brown. Yeah, because it's, I think it's just too thin. <laughs> yeah. 
think I will add more uh, trees maybe here Just make it thick, everyone, so that they can see that it's very thick forest. And also here, I'll try to put one more. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll just make it a little taller. taller. Yeah, I just have to put uh, plenty of details. Okay, maybe this one. Yeah. Okay, maybe here, bro. Maybe I will just also put. But this time, I'll just do. Maybe later, I'll try to put it here. Maybe thicker, because I don't want to. Yeah, maybe here, bro. I will try to put another batch. So I want to cover this part here, and only few lights I'm gonna see. Okay. So I will try to put some uh, highlights now. Try to do it a little by little. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. This brush, number eight. And number two, nylon flat brush, smaller, smaller size uh, flat brush. Okay, I have the yellow and the blue. And then white. I'll try to use some blue green, everyone. Now maybe more yellow green. Yeah, here. This will be a mountain here. Yeah, I will put some a little orange, yellow, and the red. So that it will look like that there's other color plants there. Yeah, I will put more lights everyone. So I'm gonna try this yellow. I can use the tapping technique or I just have to plain uh, details. The light is coming from here, it was right to there. So normally it will become very bright there. 
another lighter yellow Okay. I'll try to refine some parts and make it a little lighter. Okay, so it looks like now that uh, the, stri uh, the light striking here. And then I'm gonna put the highlights on the on the pine trees, so it will be much more bluish. So I'm gonna put more blue and then yellow, but but much more bluish everyone. So I'm using again the small brush. Yeah, just small like that, and I can create the pine trees. Uh, so sorry, the, the pine trees even have dark colors. So, but here I will try to make it a little brighter. I want to exaggerate some things here. Okay, sometimes exaggeration uh, can be a good thing. Yeah, I can see there's some greenish and it still look like that uh, the light striking on that part on that part of the uh, small mountain and of course we should not forget the mountain on the bottom or the, the trees on the bottom we can put a little light there you can just a small lights and we need to use uh, the same brush small brush there all my all the highlights have been the left side a little lighter because I want to exaggerate things there okay I think that looks uh, good and better now also this one Okay, so it's way better. Yeah. So just very simple uh, landscape, everyone, and you can see the difference. Looks, uh, looks really this far things there. Okay, continue. 
And here, everyone, I'll try to lighten this part with lighter yellows or lighter yellow greens to make that to make it look like that there's very bright color lights there. Yeah, it's like a backlight of colors, everyone. Because uh, the light is coming from here, maybe here the sun is coming from this part. There. Okay. Maybe some yellow uh, colors on this part. There. That's just yellow, but maybe white. Let's try to put some white there. Yeah, that looks good. That's more yellowish. Let's try to put it here. Okay. Yeah, and I'll try now to put some highlights. So I'll try this light greens. Uh, I'll try to see that. I will try to show that uh, it doesn't hit by this tree here. There. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put uh, some uh, highlights on the uh, back part. So I'm going to mix from green with a little warmer. And white. It should be much more looking like blue green, everyone. Yeah. There. So it's just uh, colors of the light, everyone. Uh, the highlights on the back of the of the pine tree. So uh, actually, it's a dark greenish color or a little more bluish because this part doesn't hit by the lights. So we need also to put uh, colors on this. Also here. There. So it's clear now some colors of the pine trees. Also here. Okay, just use the topping technique, everyone. Yeah, 
You can also put a little here. There. Okay, little colors. A little greenish colors. There. Yeah, that looks good now. You can see now some uh, greenish there on the back. Yeah. And now I'll try to put some uh, highlights. Uh, maybe some shades first. Or some casted shadows. So I'll, I'll be using now the number 8 nylon flat brush. It's a medium size flat brush as well. This one. So here I have some blue, yellow to make some greens. And the raw amber. Okay, just a tapping technique. Uh, now they were, we're putting some casted shadows. So, uh, tapping technique everyone to create those uh, those uh, details uh, to look like uh, grasses. There, okay. Also, I also have to make it dark. Okay. And then also the other one, so here. Yeah, I just want to make this part really, really dark, everyone. That is, there has no light hitting this part. There, see, you can now see uh, the good highlights there. But always remember, uh, not all colors should be dark. You can leave some lighter browns there. Uh, they, it will look like you can still see the sowels. Some lighter greenish. So here, I will just assume that it's very dark here. I'll just make this uh, thing solid. There. Okay. I think that will be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that look that looks really really solid. Now I will try to put the pathway. So you can your brush. Here. Uh, I will just use a uh, raw umber and then a little white. With a little blue. This will be good for pathway. There. 
there. It's just a man-made pathway, everyone. Okay. Also, we need to observe the perspective. Uh, it will be slower, a uh, uh, smaller here and bigger here. There. Uh, I will try to use a uh, smaller brush now. We have here the raw umber, the yellow, and the red. try to put light highlights on the pathway there yeah because on the distance everyone you can you can I barely see the pathway, the colors, or the light, or the the pathway. So I'm gonna make it much more brighter. Yeah, to make it much. Uh, way visible okay just a very small pathway but it looks good now i will try to put some uh, highlights from here we want to create those so first i want to try to use the yellow and the white i'll try to put it here Okay. Yeah, I can put some lighter greens. I can use the tapping technique, everyone. I ah, know that, yeah, the tapping technique to make it look like uh, grasses. Yeah, maybe I will just do it later on. Here I have yellow and a little red. I'll try to put also some a little orange on the distance. and the yellow how do I put it here to make this a uh, very bright play part can use the topping that's a little level one I like this brush because it's very very flat and you can create better details
there. There, so we can now see uh, good lights. Yeah, that looks good. But we need to polish everything there, that it will look like uh, realistic, everyone. Because for me, it's not yet uh, looking realistic. Uh, there's still some things there that I can see, it's not good. But so far, it looks, the landscape looks pretty uh, amazing. Okay, so I'll try to put more darks. Yeah, I'll use the same brush. So, raw umber and the blue. This is a good color for darks. Yeah, just make it uh, looking dirty, everyone. Just make the, everything looking dirty. Okay, now we'll try to put uh, some highlights on the dark part, but it should be different highlights, everyone. So, first, I'm gonna try to put some little orange color yellow and red. The same thing everyone, I need to tap in technique. Yeah. Okay. Just do it a little by little. And now I'll try uh, blue and a little amount of yellow. Yeah, it will be uh, blue green one but uh, a little lighter. There. Okay, but uh, my, my head is not blocking your... There. Yeah, a little lighter. Yeah, just tapping everyone, put it uh, anywhere. Greenish. There. Now I will use now the fun brush. I like the fun brush because I can create good details there. You see? 
it's a small or it's a medium size pan press one they are also smaller than this i'm not sure it's, yeah it's a medium size and you can find smaller than this also more well, smaller is better than this one okay so i will spread it here i will use some um, blue and yellow and white You can create the tapping technique. There. Also here. Yeah, I'm a little lighter than this. different types of plants here everyone using the pan grass actually you can create you can create grasses okay So you can see the lights are much more uh, bluish or greenish but I will also put not just like that color one but I will also put some uh, orange Some grasses or orange grasses, you can also do. I just do like this one, it will create a beautiful grass like textures. can now see uh, this field everyone is filled, uh, filled with some um, bushes grasses or whatever we can see there but it looks pretty good the light is perfectly good I like those lights there but I want to put more uh, I want to put more some uh, things there everyone like the lights highlights I don't want to make it so dark I want also to make it a little brighter that's why I need to put some yellow yeah yellow with a little orange
can create some grasses Okay, and then I'll try some more uh, light green. You can create some grasses here, some random grasses. And not as grasses, but you can create also some plants. Just put more uh, things there, everyone. You can put any plants there with different colors. Yeah. You can also put like this. It should not it should not be so dark because I just like to I just want to uh, make it that you can still see just a small details there. Okay, so now it's time to put the highlights. So I'm excited with the highlights. Uh, yellow and white. Maybe yellow will be good first. Okay, can use the topping. So here. There. Okay. So you can now see those highlights there, everyone. Okay. Yeah, just a very easy, simple highlights, but uh, it makes the painting looking realistic. Okay. 
and also here I think I'll put Yeah, applying the yellow will make it much more looking realistic or light or very bright. So what I want it here is uh, to put very really bright colors there because I want to emphasize those lights there. It's very important for me. So I think that's looking good now. You can see clearly those lights and it's really looking realistic. It's uh, one hour and seven minutes and I have still plenty of things to put here everyone and I want to put more because I know that uh, uh, it will become very good yeah I like to put a tree yeah one more tree yeah on the foreground everyone so yeah yeah it will be a very good tree okay so I will try to retouch some more things here I'll be using this brush, small brush, number two nylon flat brush. I have here. So maybe I will try to use blue and the red or purple and then white. More red to make it much more purple and white. I try to put it here. And also here. Okay. And then I will also put some brown, blue, amber, and white. Not just for polybrown but also some brownish tone. There, okay. And then I want a very bright highlights on the pathway. White, yellow, and red. There. And also here. And then I will try to put, of course, some casted shadow. It will not be complete without the casted shadow. Uh, I will be using this uh, light blue green. I uh, know, and purple. So that shadows looks good. Just a small, uh, small pathway, everyone. So it doesn't need to be very big. It's just a normal people walking there. 
yeah the slides there is perfectly good okay so i will try to put more highlights uh, maybe I'll try to put some trees here uh small plants so here you have the blue greens there so plants with bigger leaves everyone it's very important and then i'll try to put a little highlights there's I think that's too light. I will just try to put more uh, plants with bigger leaves. You can put any types of plants here everyone it will be up to you yeah as long as there are plenty of things that you can see later I'm gonna try to put some flowers here Okay, I'll try to put more greenish. Yeah, I'll try to put as many plants there everyone because it's very important to see that there are a variety of plants here. And also you can see some browns with some soil. Oh sorry. Sorry everyone. If I touch a little my canvas.
Okay, I think this is uh, clear now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just looking very simple, everyone, but I think it's really, really good. I like to slice there, it looks pretty realistic. And I want to put more lights there. I want to put, and I want to, I will want to put a tree on the foreground. Yeah. Okay. I'll try to put some yellow and white. Try to put some plants here. That has been hit by the lights, everyone. Still rain. <laughs> there. I want to put some white. Here, a little also lights there. Okay, yeah, so here you can see clearly that there are much more details in this part hitting by the lights. Okay, yeah, I'll try to put some flowers there just to complete everything. Maybe some uh, red flowers here. So you don't need to put lights on the flowers everyone because this is a dark part okay not just that but I will try to put some a light so I'll just blue uh, red to make some make some purple and white so that it will be not become so white everyone that's why I'm adding some white
there. Okay. A little yellowish. There. So actually, I am planning to put a tree here, everyone. I'm not really sure. Yeah, maybe just uh, just to make the entire painting uh, complete. But I want it to be. Uh, with the pink uh, flowers, yeah, it will be good. It will create. Uh, it will. It will make this uh, very good foreground. So yeah, I have time. So here, I will not also make this painting finish faster. Yeah, I'll just cover some parts here. some some blue I'll try to use a smaller brush everyone. I think I will try to use this uh, liner brush, a round brush. It's a number one liner brush, good for the branches. This will just be simple, small tree, everyone, not a big tree. Yeah, I'll just cover some parts there. And now I'll try to put uh, the leaves. Maybe I'll just use the one brush. Yeah, I'll try to put some lips first. So here I have some uh, blue. Maybe I'll put a lighter green first on the other side, so that we can see that uh, it's glowing.
So in here, I'm gonna cover this, this colors. Okay. I'll try to put a little blow brownish. Yeah, it's not so thick. Uh, three, everyone. Kind of see a tree there, and I think it looks good. Yeah, just very simple tree on the foreground. I don't want to put there some uh, lights or yeah, some flowers there on this tree. But I will try to use uh, different brush. I'll try now to use this bristle plot brush. But first, I think I will need to put some highlights on the. on the body or the trunk so here I have white yellow and the red yeah, I just want to put some yeah it's so, still wet A little yellow stone one for the there. Okay. So I will try to put some purple. To show some details here everyone. Okay. and white
there and now I will try to put some oh I'm going the blue yeah I'm going the blue and the red to make some dark color one I'm going to use this to put some uh, branches I'll put more branches around so that you can see where the branch details here. There, okay. The sponges will only make it uh, looking more alive and detailed. Okay, so now I'll try to put some flowers on this tree. Yeah, I really like to put some flowers, but I want it to be much more uh, reddish purple flowers. So I'll try to use this red and blue to white. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Something happened with the power. Maybe I'll put blue first. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll really try to. Use the big brush bro and I think that doesn't work so much. I'll do it one by one with this uh with this brush. So here I have the uh, blue and the red and then white. Yeah, I'll do it one by one using this number two nylon plus brush.
there and I will try to put uh, much more reddish yeah and then white In a purple, everyone you can see different shades there. You can see reddish or reddish purple or uh, bluish purple. So you have to play in this because we have no, I'm not using any purple color. And now I'll try to put a little bluish. This will be reddish purple and then white. Okay, so you can see clearly those flowers. But I will put more flowers later on. I will put first some greens. I have blue, I have yellow and the blue. It's one hour and 14 minutes now. And white. And yellow. Yellow and blue. I'm ready to put the highlights now. There. And then some white. Yeah, but I will need to put some more flowers around. Maybe I'll just make it much more reddish or pink. Yeah, because uh, the purple will not be so much visible. So I will try to much more uh, pink everyone. So 
So sorry everyone, I'm going to change the flowers to something like pink. I'll just do it one by one. There, okay. I just try to put more. So I like to put also some flowers here. Okay, so I was trying not to put some uh, white or lighter color, maybe some very, very white to create the highlights. Okay, and then on the bottom part everyone, you should not forget to put the, the fallen flowers. Yeah, it's almost two hours now. Also put some flying flowers like uh, there's a wing okay so that's all sorry so I think that's all everyone so I think I am done and so far I really like the entire result looks pretty good I like the flowers the entire views looks very relaxing 
and I finished it for one hour and 47 min so 47 minutes quite long but I think it's worth it for the time so yeah so I think I am done and everyone I want to say thank you for watching this video today so I hope you get something out of this get, you can learn you can uh, get some ideas how to paint this stuff this uh, simple landscape but you can see very good details there how to paint this wonderful uh, field green field and uh, many things here you can really learn many things okay so uh, until here and see you on the next painting and okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.